good morning students uh, one topic left in php in unit 1 that topic is uh, php listing directories so how the directories uh, uh, how php will work with the directories so there are many functions uh, supported by using uh, php in order to work with the directories actually directories uh, major part we are doing in linux uh, unix systems operating systems not windows operating system okay anyway some of the functions supported in uh, uh, windows uh, some of the functions not supported php is in uh, windows okay so that anyway we'll just know what actually uh, different types of functions uh, supported in php in order to uh, do the operations on directories see here uh, php directory um, functions allow you retrieve information about directories and their content so what actually directories are there and uh, uh, what are the content is there in the directory that will be supported uh, by using php functions so these are the uh, so php directory functions are part of the php core and no need to install extra uh, required to these is functions nothing but uh, these uh, directories uh, supported functions are already available in uh, php directory functions okay that is available in php core no need to use uh, or no need to use extra things for the php next so these are the functions php directories so one is uh, so function uh, ch dir nothing but uh, change the current directory so nothing but here uh, uh, ch dir meaning changes the current directory change the current directory and ch root change the root directory so if the what actually we are working that if you use uh, ch root function that root it goes to control goes to uh, root directory okay one more function that is uh, close dir uh, closes the directory handle so if you open the di directory that will be actually referred to the handle so if you want to close that uh, that is just use uh, close dir dir function like a close file function in uh, uh, file operations okay and the dir function returns an instance of the directory class so it returns a instance of the directory class and get cwd so returns the current working directory so uh, get uh, current working directory is a function get cw it returns the current working directory so if you use that one it displays current working directory next uh, one more function that is open dir opens a directory handle so it returns directory handles okay so that uh, whenever if you use uh, if you want to open the content if you, if you want to read the content from the directory before that you should open you should open by using open dir after that you should perform a read uh, from the directory so next function is the d read dir which is used to return entry from the directory handle so what at actually the open directory returns handle na by using that one we will uh, read the files which are available in that current directory in the directory that by uh, we can read by using read directory function and the rewind directory so resets the directory handle so while reading the directory from so initially suppose if you open directory so uh, pointer to initial uh, content in the directory so that reading the files step by step later after reading the directory pointer will be end of the end of the directory so that in, uh, once again if you want to reset if you want to reset so that uh, end of the directory goes to initial pointer for that uh, we are using a rewind dir dir function one more function uh, scan dir it returns array of files and directories of specified directory so scan dir function which is uh, actually returns uh, array of array of files so what actually content is available in the directory nothing but in, in terms of file those files uh, it returns index array basically next so why will uh, we will discuss uh, step by step what actually these functions what are by taking an exa examples of each one so first one is uh, change directory so uh, we are working in current directory right so from that we are changing the another directory for that purpose we are using chdir okay so in order to use that one first we should know what actually current directory so that uh, you should get the uh, current direct working directory by using get cw function so that so both we can use in order to know actually uh, what actually changes the directory so the chir what is the actual argument in this uh, this is require parameter 
we need to specify the directory name okay next uh, example about uh, ch directory so here uh, see this this is uh, uh, in order to know current working directory echo uh, get cwd so it will print current working directory and then uh, change this directory to images folder so images is a directory which is available in current so that uh, ch working directory changes to images directory okay so then after that in order to know if current working directory just uh, print that directory so this is the output for this is initially that is uh, what is current working directory later that will be changes to image directory okay next uh, fun uh, function is a ch root so in order to uh, direct it to the root function root directory we should use ch root function okay so in that what is the argument here uh, just you should pass the what actually current uh, where it it should be root, uh, rooted to that one okay after that it will display the so see ch root function uh, not supported in windows it can be supported in uh, uh, unix okay linux operating systems not in uh, windows so that uh, just to know the concepts what is ch root uh, actually it, uh, it redirected to root directory that's all next this is a uh, open directory function so in order to open uh oh, sir passing passing pass start next uh, function is uh, open directory so in order to open the con uh, what actually content is there in the directory for that uh, we need to use uh, open dir so open a directory read it contents and then close so this is the example so here uh, uh, open directory it takes actually handle string handle for that we need to specify the path what actually uh, directory will be open that will be used see here that will be used here uh, dollar dir that is a handle that is string i specified a path here here you need to while specifying a path forward slash you should use not backwards if you in, in windows if you copy paste also you will get backwards slashes so that uh, you need to change to forward slash right and after end of this directory operators you need to place the forward slash then only that operators directory will be open okay if we use open dir function right so that it return actually open dir function takes takes actually string handle string handle so that a path will be assigned as a path will be treated as a string and that is the dollar sorry dollar dir that will be passed to open dir okay so is underscore dir nothing but what whether it is a handle is there or not so if it is handle is there then uh, it execute your uh, if statement uh, just uh, whether i need to check whether the handle is there or not that's what i specified is underscore dir uh, direct uh, dollar div i am passing that uh, handle so that if it is returns true then goes to uh, open dir right uh, so that if it is open it returns true or false so that it uh, it is returns handle okay that handle name is i have given dollar uh, th so that pointer uh, uh, it open the directory it points to first file okay so that by using a read file re, uh, sorry read directory function by passing this reference we can read file by file this is actually what uh, can be happened uh, in this scenario echo directory is opened so first we need to print what is directory opened then uh, uh, file equal to just we are uh, assigning the read directory file read the dir function by passing dollar dh uh, handle of the open directory right so it returns files so that we are printing step by step so what are how many number of files there in that in the current uh, in that uh, directory open directory that many files will be displayed on the console okay this is the program which is used to read the content from the directory in order to read the content from the directory first you should open the open the open the uh directory in order to open the directory the function open dir function will be used and that will be passed to the that handle will be passed to the read dir function so that it returns it returns step by step files so by using echo we are, we need to print or display the in the console okay this is about uh, open dir function so for that uh, uh, this is the output first directory is open then corresponding what are the files are there now in operators these are the files are available so that will be 
print, uh, printed on the or uh, displayed on the console. Next. So next function is a uh, rewind uh, dir function, which actually used for reset the uh, handle, reset the handle. So initially after reading the content from the directory, so it reaches to end of the directory. So you, in that cases, if you read again, it is already end of the directory. So how can we reset to that by, so in order to reset that, we are using rewind uh, dir function, okay. So reset the directory handle created by the open dir. So, so syntax is uh, rewind dir which is having a uh, uh, dir, it is actually optional handle resource uh, previously opened the open dir. If the parameter is not over specified, the last link opened by the dir is to be assumed. So if the parameter in the uh, rewind dir, what actually we are going to that corresponding handle, if you specify, it goes to that uh, corresponding handle or else if you not specify what is the latest handle that will be taken as uh, uh, reset the handle, okay. Next slide. So this is the example in order to rewind uh, dir function. So here uh, same I told now that the handle will be taken as string that will be passed to the open dir so that uh, this actually what we uh, explained earlier earlier program same thing up to this okay later so here we are reading the content from the from the directory okay later so after reading that content the pointer will be end of the end of the directory if you use this function if you use this function rewind the dir function so that that pointer will be reset to initial. So once again, if you read same, uh, what are the content is available? What are the files available in the current uh, that directory will be printed. So this is the scenario in order to reset the handle we are using divine. So for this is we are getting the output to two, two times. So output. So here we are reading initially, then later reset the by using rewind the directory. So this is the output for that. Next. Next function uh, supported by the PHP scan dir function. So it returns array of files which are uh, available in the directory. Okay. So that, so the syntax of the scan dir function is uh, directory name. Okay. Order either ascending or descending or uncontext. So we'll go in detail about uh, uh, this uh, parameters. So directory is required, specify the directory to be scanned. What actually directory be scanned? That will be you need to specify the directory handle there and then order this is optional. So specify this is actually sorting order by default it will be ascending order only okay or else if you want to specify that ascending order uh, by default actually taken as zero if you want to specify de descending order the value will be one if you set as one or scan dir underscore SOT underscore descending if you specify as second argument in the scan dir. So that, that we will get the output as a descending order, okay. Or else uh, if you, there is none, so that uh, you need to specify scan dir uh, underscore sort underscore none, so that it returns uh, unsorted order, okay. This is about uh, order. So if you want to specify, by default it will take assigning order, If you, uh, that will be zero, okay. Or else if you put as one, that will be descending order. We don't want to get anything, just only display the content. Yes, uh, you, you can use the scan here underscore sort underscore none, right? Next is context is specify the context of the current handle. Context is set to optional in this scenario, okay? Next, uh, uh, this is the program for scan here function. So simply uh, uh, we are uh, specify the path, okay, which, uh, which directory will be scanned, right? So that after this handle will be uh, passed to the scan DIR. So we are, we did not specify here. Initially we did not specify the second argument. Okay. Either ascending or descending. But by default what will take? Ascending order. By default it will take ascending order. Okay. Next uh, thing, same thing we are passing but specifying uh, as one second uh, so that it will be displayed as descending order. Okay. So this is a print uh, under, uh, under the uh, this is a print in the function, print underscore function which is to display the content on the browser, okay. So this is a function uh, what actually scan uh, scan entire the uh, directory and it will be displayed as ascending order or else display or descending order or none depending on the second argument, okay. 
this is for this is this is output so scanned here returns what indexed array array so initially array which uh, having zero zero uh, zero index points to none actually and one uh, index points to none second uh, index points to some arithmetic operator dot php file is there in uh, that file operators uh, directory and then second one uh, third third point to array operator dot php file so that in this way this is a uh, ascending order crs keep in mind a arithmetic arr so that's what ascending order next uh, descending order c if we are specifying zero right so that assignment yes as character uh, uh, descending order okay so in that way we are displaying the content uh, by using scan dir function so finally we are uh, we have discussed about php supporting functions what actually operations can we do in order to uh, on the directories okay thank you